second time that I have been asked by the ICAC to come to this particular inquiry and to give evidence, and I am uh, I'm happy to assist the Commission in their uh, inquiries. Uh, although, boy, have things significantly changed since the last time I was here. We had a Liberal Premier, Barry O'Farrell, stand down from his leading the ICAC. We've had two Liberal MPs resign from Parliament, and we now see seven Liberal MPs who resigned from their party sitting on the crossbench while I, whilst ICAC investigates uh, their alleged misdeeds. Uh, I would say that, uh, like most people in the state, I'm absolutely gobsmacked and infuriated by what's been admitted to and what's been alleged at this ICAC. Let me say that part of my fury and part of my frustration is to see what's been alleged by Labour members, uh, who it has been uh, put before this ICAC uh, that Labour members potentially have been involved in undermining uh, a Labour MP, Jodie McKay, in her campaign. And when I see that evidence, it does infuriate me. Now, I'm not able to comment too fully on that because there's been no admission and no finding yet. But I can say at a very personal level that when I look at what's been put before this ICAC inquiry in terms of the Liberal Party and the Labour Party, it's, it's pretty fair to say that I feel that Jody McKay and I and every Labour person who worked hard to get Jody re-elected were fighting that campaign with two hands tied behind our backs. One hand put there by a Liberal Party that wanted to take money and brown paper bags in the back of a Bentley and do deals with property developers, and by allegedly Labour members who worked to undermine the endorsed Labour candidate and MP in her own seat. Now, if there is a finding against Labour members that they did do that, I will have plenty to say about that. But today, I'm here to give evidence and answer questions that the Commission may want to put to me. My involvement in this matter is not significant, but the Commission apparently feels there's information I'm able to provide that may be of assistance, and I'm happy to do so. Thank you.